had to be a group that uh, could support each other, uh, be good teammates, because uh, we were going to have a battle, and we knew we were going to have adversity throughout the season. Uh, the team goals uh, never changed for the hockey program here at UNH, and it's always uh, one of our first goals to get home ice, to give us the best opportunity to get to the Boston Garden and compete for the uh, Hockey East uh, Championship. That guarantees you of getting into the NCAA tournament. Uh, we were probably one game shot of uh, qualifying for the NCAA tournament uh, as an at-large team. And we knew at the end that we had to win the championship. Um, at the very end, we knew we had to win the championship to get to the uh, NCAA tournament. Um, but as I mentioned, the, the goals never changed. The first half, uh, knowing that schedule, we played 16 non-league games. We started off out in Minnesota, uh, opening up with uh, Clarkson and then playing Minnesota. We got off to uh, a tough start, 1-5-1. One, and, one. Uh, and yet, we, we felt good about ourselves. We were a team that were playing well. Uh, puck wasn't going in for us, but uh, not from any lack of uh, effort on the team's part. And then we get on a roll and won uh, six games. And uh, you know, by Christmas time, we had it back to 500, 991, I think is, is uh, pretty close to what we were at uh, and then coming off of uh, Christmas, uh, heading down to Florida, which it was, uh, I regret the fact that we played in that tournament. Uh, we made that commitment several years ago. Um, you know, we had to play Cornell, get cut through a game with uh, Princeton, and uh, came back home here. And uh, we had a pretty good weekend with Nebraska, ran into uh, a very good team, obviously the National Champions uh, Union. Um, played okay the second game. Not too bad, but losing both games there. Bouncing back against Notre Dame, which at the time, uh, as we all know, coming into the Hockey East uh, for the first time, they, they were a team that uh, you had to uh, really deal with. They were a very talented team. Obviously, they, they wanted to do some special things uh, and won two important games. And uh, we kind of went back and forth. And then I, I think it was the Vermont weekend is really where we had a tough time. They came down here. We, may, we might have uh, underestimated them. And, uh, that was a difficult weekend and it put us in a tough spot. Probably knocked us out of the pairwise uh, rankings, but we thought that uh, we were definitely going to be in at large. Uh, that all being said, uh, the leadership of this team really took over. You know, we had that share of injuries, um, you know, that, that changed things, but the leadership uh, found a way. Uh, people stepped up uh, and we were determined to get home ice. Coming down the stretch, uh, it was it was a tough uh, with injuries. It was, Tough for the team. People uh, found ways to uh, win games for us. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, the BU weekend was a huge weekend, winning both games, and that brought us down to the Merrimack game. You know, losing the first game and then uh, ultimately winning that last game to give us um, home ice. And as we all know, in uh, a couple of a couple of tunes on the bus there for BU, they kind of helped us out to get that home ice. But um, you know, it was the goal. We reached our goal. We get to the Boston Garden, we wanted to compete in the championship, we wanted to get to the Sinesta, we wanted to get to Antonio, it's, it's just a great time, it's a long trip to get to that point, and you go through an awful lot, it's a, it's a battle. Our league, no doubt, has become the best league in the country from top to bottom with the, uh, the addition of Notre Dame, but with the rise of Lowell and Providence, two programs that have taken it to the top, and yet UNH still is uh, at the top of the league, and uh, this group and uh, that leadership found a way to stay there in, in uh, the uh, Providence game. And then the highlight, uh, you know, Kevin uh, wrapping a couple against uh, Gillies. That was a great night. And I know the coaches and the staff, that was our plan to get him moving. And uh, that was one of our best games of the season, beating Providence, who we had lost to in three games a year before to, to not get to Boston to a couple overtime games. So uh, I congratulate the, uh, the leadership, uh, especially the seniors, uh, for all that you've done. Um, I know a couple of them are not here, uh, but it was it was a uh, sheer uh, leadership uh, that uh, trickled down uh, to this team that the guys that are up front here and uh, want to thank uh, the seniors for all you've done. Wish you continued success. Uh, thank your parents uh, for the commitment that you've made to the university and our hockey program. Uh, as the player said, they're, they're Wildcats, and hopefully you will continue to support our program. Uh, and thank Bruce and the friends for this evening. It's always special. Uh, you know,
know, the, the video tells it all when, you know, watching the, the seniors, and I know, you know, we, we focus on the seniors uh, with the highlight film, but uh, this was a great team, the coach, uh, they were uh, a group that uh, were very attentive, and uh, as I said earlier, when we ran into our problems and our adversities, whether it was injuries or the flu or whatever, a uh, guy stepped up and uh, fought right to the end. And I think uh, as difficult as it was losing that final game against Lowell, uh, the way that we played the last period, uh, I mean, the puck wasn't going in and we had a difficult time against Hellebuck, but I was proud of the way they competed. I said it in the, in the press conference. It was a strange game uh, to get the score, but it was a strange game. But the way we were playing at the end, I was proud. And I think Marty said it earlier uh, in, in the uh, dinner here that uh, this was a team that battled from the start, and we knew it. We knew we were a team that was going to have that battle, and uh, I give a lot of credit uh, to our captains and our leadership in this team. Uh, again, uh, thank everybody for uh, making this night a special night, and, and wish you uh, nothing but the best.